Good day folks, here it is, my version of the quantum energy generator, the final product, and as you see, it works without um, even an input trigger, just from the having the ground connected here. And uh, it accumulates, and I'll explain the system to you. Um, the way this works is I've got the generator, which is kind of um, confusing because it's off right now, but it could take anywhere from 4.5 to 12 volts. It takes about 5 to 15 MA. So I got it connected to a 12 volt capacitive power supply right now. And the input goes here, and this is our square wave output here. And here's the uh, reverse kickback diode here, and this is the real earth ground connection that goes that I tap right here into the earth ground. And um, what happens here is um, I did a bit of Bedini. Um, well, his, his friend what, that experimented, I sort of hinted at this because another video I said the different configurations will give you like an electro electret and it starts attracting um, sterophone and whatnot. And that was because, um, well, in, in Bedini's uh, friend, he used it as a gold electromagnetic. And how he did it is use multiple strain cores. And that's what I did as well. I used regular copper strains, but I kept the insulator around the multi-strain wire and wrapped around maybe six, seven of those wires together to form like that vinyl around each um, of the uh, rods, so to speak. And I also wanted to experiment with those fields and the um, self-capacitance this would cause in here, which obviously helps with the coupling here. As we're talking, we're already up to... Now, what happens here is I realized the reason this is working so well, I would encourage you to watch part one and part two. And in part two, I show you how more in details how it works from just environmental and I don't want to go into all the details all over again here, but this is just running off passive mode right now, okay? And what I've noticed is the reason it's working better is I've decided, you know, people do what I find is the most crazy thing with the Bedini-like setups, and they use the back EMF, and this is a different kind of energy, and they try to recycle it, use it, it's negative, it works backwards, it destroys your controllers, your circuit, people have poor results trying to use this so I figured let's put it back into the circuit in a constructive way instead so we're back to my I am experimenting with the magnetic potential so what we're doing is all I want to do is vary the magnetic potentials we don't need current for that it just wants to see voltage potential so we're with the with the back EMF pulse this changes the magnetic potential because we're sending it back into the core the core is not actually connected it's a magnetic loop so to speak and uh, that varies the potential between the coil and the core and that's what we're using to drive our load with now i've noticed it works a lot better when i use a reactive coupling stage instead so if you understand reactive coupling it ping pongs the energy back and forth you don't actually use real power you just use reactive power so this is actually sending a pulse this is probably why it works so much it's inducing a kind of lc oscillation self triggered by the help of the reactive stage here and this is what's going on and I this I took apart this power supply because it was easier to use than build my own and I disabled the switching I put the the nail polish just to show that's all bypass I took the coil out so with all of that circuitry you see in blue is disactivated no power I'm tapping right off of the 15 UF at the rectifier side of this and if you understand 15 uf at let's say uh, 58 volts as a cap dump is pretty nice folks considering it's just coming from the ground and of course if i disconnect the ground it's still going to work but this is going to go down to maybe six or seven volts which is still pretty magnificent and considering you know this is environmentally partially not all but it's part of the system this is the result, folks, of many years of research and finding the concepts myself and along with some of your help, of course, and putting the pieces together with my own creation of several systems. It's not just a Bedini, it sort of is, but I'm using different... There's a lot of layers going on here. And what's wonderful, folks, is we don't need the controller, but if we give it that 1% trigger, this goes up to over 100 volts. So why not, right? So I'm going to turn it on now. 
plug in the trigger, which is totally optional. Plug in the trigger. And now look at our voltage all of a sudden. Big jump, folks. And that's all it is. The trigger is running at 1%. And we could program. We don't need to dump this much voltage at 15 UF. But it's just to show you, this is actually real power now. We're converting this. The amplitude is phenomenal. And at 15 UF, folks, if we dump this, this is real serious amps a second power we're getting. Even if we were to dump this, let's say, at 80 volts. And we're putting nothing in there in the trigger. And to keep things even more fancy here, folks, is I'm using a capacitive power supply, if that matters to you. Which means we're using the electricity grid only as a trigger. We're not even paying well, minus the losses, of course, but because the capacitor of the input, if you care about this too, um, you can see this is truly, we're using just the mains literally as a trigger to suck in more electrons here. And it works very well. I don't want to discharge this because it's going to like kill my meter because at 15 UF, you understand. So now all I have to do next is set up a cap dump with a switch which would basically the two different circuits which will dump maybe at 24 volts when it's in environmental mode and when you have a little bit for a trigger you flip the switch and it does the dump at 80 volts instead so mode A and mode B so I pretty well described what I did with the core here and uh, the only issue with this as Bedini's friend stated is these create different kinds of you know these H potential fields are relatively new and we don't know much about these and um, Benini's friend well when he had it configured as a gold electromagnet not quite the same because they had a tune everything matters but they claimed that the fields made them sick so um, this requires much more um, studying to make sure that this is actually a healthy device it's nice that we're getting beyond over unity with this but if it's not safe um, we have to go back to the drawing board, but for the sake of science and to show you that I finally got what I was looking for after all these years, and I like to share everything with you, and this is remarkable, folks, because as you see, no tricks. I only have a ground, and I'm using the electrical ground as described in the other video. I've tried the phone ground as well. It gets similar results. So it's not some weird thing I'm playing with the wiring and I've showed you in the other video it works without the ground just maybe half. So there's several modes of operation with this device and again I thank you all for the support and I really at this point folks with my limited here's the background of all my stuff if you want to see um, I'm really limited you know um, and unfortunately, I don't think it would be a $100 donation, even if I'd be able to accept it. But if there's someone who's <laughs> miraculously nearby, who has a real business, lab, and whatever, who, who thinks there's a potential in all this, who wants to get together, by all means, um, let's, let's connect, you know, and work this up. All right, folks, um, I'll let you go for now, and let me know what you all think.